Hi, I'm Carl, and today I will be teaching you how to download and how to use LS Maker. Now, first, you're going to need to go to Google to download it. Go to Google, and in the search box, you're going to type in LS Maker. And then the first one that comes up, it'll say Lightsaber Maker dash LS Maker's homepage dash dash the Lightsaber Maker. And then dot dot dot. And then you're going to click on that and it'll bring you to the home page. Now, over in the corner, it'll say LS Maker, LS Sound, LS Text, Main Page, and all that. You're going to click on the one that says LS Maker. Now it'll bring you to this. Up here, it'll say LS Maker, and then right next to it, it'll say click here. Where it says click here, you're going to click that to download it. Then it'll start downloading it but I already have it downloaded so I'm not going to download it again so okay and then you're going to download it and save it to wherever you're going to save it I saved it to the desktop, it's right there you're going to open that up then, well, it'll open up that me. where it says import at the top right there right next to where it says file it says import you're going to click that um, down in this section, it'll have three dots. One of them will be colored in. You're going to click on the middle one. It'll color in that. You're going to click Add and go to the video that you want. Click the video, and then you're going to click OK. And then you're going to have your video. Now, there's a little thing that says Zoom in the corner because it's going to be rather tiny. So you're going to click that and you're going to drag it down to make it bigger okay that's it. now that your video is there you are going to go to where the color is it's at the top it says color you're going to click that so up this it doesn't actually look like that looks like that it's just the way my camera is angled so it's going to look like that It'll actually look like that on your screen, and in real life. So, you're going to click color, and go to the color you want. I'm going to do blue, except if that's too dark blue for you, then you can actually go to define custom colors, and you can make it the color you want. I'm going to make it a little lighter of a blue. Whoa, too light, too light. Holy crap, what is it doing? Here, let me try this. Oh yeah, much better. Okay, that's a good blue. And then you're going to click OK. Then you're going to go where it's white. Click it. Go to white. Click OK. And then you'll have that. Then up by the color and the blade, it'll say zero. On top and bottom, you're going to click one render using color. Okay, now that it's like that, down here, it'll say points, two points, four points, render two points as four. Below that, it'll say lock. You're going to check that. That way, when you go each frame, that will stay locked and the color will. Okay. So, now to get to the actual lightsaber. You are going to left click on the bottom of the lightsaber and right click at the top and then when you want to see the lightsaber you can either press right there that says preview K or you can press K on your keyboard and the lightsaber will, will show up now that looks you're probably saying that looks way too bright right so where it says lightness you are going to bring that down to 8 9 7 or 6 so 6, 7, 8, or 9. 7. I'm liking 7. Actually, you know what? 6. No, 7. There. And then you have your lightsaber. And then you're going to go frame by frame and do that in your video. And to do that, you're going to press P to go to the next frame. And you're going to press O to go back a frame. Okay, and then you're going to sit there 
doing that frame by frame. That was the video. And then once you're done, you're going to go to export. Click AVI. Um, where it says two, you're going to click end. Okay, up here, you are going to click 32-bit or the last one that shows up on yours. Okay. And then you are going to save it to where you want to. I'm going to save it. Or I normally save videos. Save it as whatever you want. I'm going to say lightsaber. I know how it's supposed to talk real. Tutorial. Save. And then you're going to go down to the third one. Right there. Click it. And then you're going to click OK. And then it'll export. And then X out of it. And then you're going to go to where you saved it to. I saved it to all my lightsaber videos, as you can see all of them. And then, when you're done, it should look a little something like this. Now, this was a video that I did before, and it was me making a burn mark. So, well, here's what that looked like. Now, that's not all I'm going to show you. That was only the lightsaber effects. Now, for that, in the video, you see a spark, and you see the burn mark. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'm going to show you how to make two lightsabers at once. Now, I actually X'd out of LS Maker, so I'm going to open that back up. Go back to that video. Hang on, I'm gonna do this all over again. So I'm just gonna shut down the camera for a second. Yes, you are now looking at my pillow. Go to the video. back to this and notice that I didn't change that because we're going to work on the spark now it'll come with LS maker where it says color it'll have three dots in the middle of the zero or the one and the color you are going to click that and you'll notice that there's all these different things now there's the blade colors there's a clash and then there's like different orbs You'll also see that there is the spark. Going to click on that, click OK, and then that'll turn white. You're going to keep these at zero, and then if you put these all far apart, if you put the dotting all far apart, it'll look like that. So you're going to want to make them close together so that it'll show up in the ball. Now, that's rather big, so I'm going to put it how I put it before. It was Get a little closer when it's smaller. There, that's how to make the spark. Then you go frame by frame doing that, export it, blah blah blah. And um, to make that and the lightsaber at the same time, um, this will be very helpful when you're doing the two lightsabers because to do this, you need the technique for doing two lightsabers. There's this thing that says layer down here, down in that corner. Like, let's say the lightsaber was layer zero. Let's just say. I realize that that looks horrible. Let's say that was the lightsaber. Now, if I wanted two things in there, I'll go to that layer and go to the next one up. And then I would be able to add the spark. And then go to the next layer. And for the burn mark, 
all I did was this. Here, the color, I did yellow for the actual color, and then for the blade, I did orange. And then, of course, you're going to render that as the burn mark. Okay, see, if you press J, that shows all the things, the lightsaber, the spark, and the burn mark. Now we're just working on the burn mark, though. So, you'll notice that that'll be, well, rather bright. So, you are going to, where it says first, first width and second width, you're going to put those down to two. Sorry. Like that. And with the lightness, you're going to put that down to 5. Actually, no. No, not 5. You're going to put it down to negative 1. No, 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 negative 1. That's not it. Going to put it down to 1. Not negative 1. Put it down to 1. And then that's the burn mark. Then once again, for two lightsabers at once, let's use the burn mark as one of them. Go to the next layer, do what you want to, blah, 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 let's make this one red, let's say. I'm trying to do this really quick, so I'm going to put that lightsaber. Okay and position it. Okay. As you can see, there's my red lightsaber. And then press J, and it shows all the stuff, and two lightsabers. Okay, now, just gonna show you this real quick. This is to make the lightsaber look like it's swinging. Um. Just so you know, the white dot will always go at the bottom, and this will be helpful for swinging. You are going to go to second width and bring that up to wherever it needs to go to. Then that's the swinging, and if the bottom ever needs to get bigger, like let's say that the top swing was really big, and you need to make the bottom bigger, you just go to the first width, and do the same thing. And that is how to download and use LS Maker. Thanks for watching, and I hope this is very useful to you. Bye.